Hey y'all, welcome back to Calvin's Corner 72. Yeah, them are peanuts. I had two or three of my plants die on me. Y'all ever seen a mater eating dog? Look here. This dog will eat tomatoes. Look here, he's got one in his mouth. He'll sit right there and eat that tomato. Y'all ever seen such? Now he's gonna run from me. Anyways, I had two uh, peanut plants to give up the ghost on me. Yeah, one had a little bit of green on it, but it was going just like the other than it did the other day. And, of course, y'all know about my little Roma tomato. It give out, too. So, let me clean this camera right quick. This thing's acting up. Maybe that'll help out. But anyways, they died on me. Y'all noticed that old Roma tomato was right here, and I pulled it up. And what I did was, I reused the uh, basket it was in to help hold up my, I'm hoping it'll help hold up that uh, cayenne plant right there. Woo! I got zoomed in too much. There we go. Sorry about that, y'all. Zucchini. I know, it's a shame. This is what happens when you go about five days without watering anything. Um, yeah, things start to die. But the zucchini didn't like it. It ain't dead yet. It's still putting out flowers. So I'm holding out. Fingers crossed it'll, it'll come back alive and start putting out some zucchini. But if it don't, we've got a lot of zucchini off of it this year. There's my other two. And actually, here's another one right here. Them's um, peanut plants. This one's doing really good. He's standing up good and tall, just like these pepper plants right here. These are my jalapeno plants. They're doing real well. A lot of good jalapenos on it. Um, look at there. Ooh, there's a big cluster of them. They're doing really, really, really well. Cayennes, we've had so much cayenne this year, it's unreal. I've, I've picked and picked and give away and give away and picked. And they're still blooming. Look here at these Jalapeno, look there's a big old jalapeno. <laughs> My beans, they're still growing. There's several of them probably need to be picked. Ain't too bad actually. There's some of them real small, you see, they, just, they ain't no size yet. There's a few of them. A good size. I'm ready to go. So uh I'll probably get out here in a few minutes. There's some more. Pick several of them. Go ahead and get them. Look here at that dang okra now. You talking about showing out like that zucchini did. And my tomatoes, I can't say enough about them. I tell you, look at the dang romas. I mean, it's just bunches and bunches and bunches. Just everywhere you look, they're loaded. If it wasn't for that basket, that plant would done fell over on its side. I mean, it's absolutely, completely loaded down. Look at them. There's another peanut plants. They're doing real good. So I'm hoping they'll hold out. And there's my potatoes. Sweet potatoes. There's more tomatoes. This Roma, I mean, it's a... Uh, this, we had to pull some green tomatoes off this another day. It was The whole thing was ready to fall over. It was so... It was just so heavy. I mean, the whole thing wanted to fall over with tomatoes. Um... Yeah, this park swapper, I'll be buying that next year. That's what I'm going with. Them's the best tomatoes. But, uh, anyhow, uh, okra's doing real good. We picked lots of okra. Looks like my pepper plant's growing up my okra plant. <laughs> and, uh, right here's some okra. Gotta go. I try not to let them get too big. You know, these things seem like I mean, they might be what killed everything. These things soaking up all the water. Just taking all the water, you know. And pretty blooms. Oh, shoot. I just dropped my dang okra. But, yeah. <coughs> that don't want to break. That aggravate me a little bit. Anyways, there they are. 
I'll put them right here. Whew. But I sure have been blessed this year on this garden. It's, it's done really well. I've, I've got lots of okra and still got tons of tomatoes coming out and cayenne like the like the Dickens. And then, uh, look at there. And then my beans done good. Seems like everything's doing well. Zucchini. God, we got a bunch of zucchini. She froze a bunch of it. She cut it up and put it in bags and stuck it in a freezer to put in soups and stuff and thaw out later and fry. So, my little boy was held and was playing on the swimming pool at the neighbor's house yesterday and busted his nose. Actually, he got a hairline fracture right on top of his nose and uh, busted his nose up pretty good and his eyes are all black and everything. You tell them don't flip backwards on the, uh, on the, don't, don't, don't do any flips off of the uh, ladder and, uh, well, they do it anyway. He's my daredevil. He ain't scared of nothing. And, uh, yeah, can't tell him nothing. He's going to do what he wants to do. He's a boy. Boys will be boys, you know. That's how they are. This is my garden update. And everything looks real good. It's still green now, even though, you know, I've lost a lot of stuff. It's still doing real well. There's my aroma. Look at there. That's got to come out. That's going to make some good salsa right there. Let me hold this. Guys and gals. Uh-oh. That one's got a bad spot on. Where's that major eating dog? I thought that to him. But, uh, oh, look at that one. I saw that right there. Whew. Yeah, we've, we've steady been eating some salsa. I've had several people um, send me some uh, salsa recipes, and I really appreciate it. They're going to be beneficial. We've tried a couple different ones. Really ain't found the, the bestest one yet, but, and then, uh, I can't remember her name for nothing, but she did a video yesterday or the other day on making salsa, and, uh, and she used, instead of using cilantro, she used cumin. It's a different kind of spice for it. I'm sorry, this camera's going everywhere. That never fell off, so it'll... It'll get ground in too. But, uh, yeah, she used, I think it's Helga's Pennsylvania cooking. Don't hold me to that. But, um, she she did a real nice salsa video the other day. If I can find the link, I'll put it down below. Y'all can go check it out. If you're interested, that's fine. If you're not, I understand. But, um, and then, uh, I think Morning Glory Gardens. I'll put her link down. So, uh, if I got it wrong, I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't look, think about it before I even come out and did this video. I just, I just got home from work and wanted to water the garden and work in it a little bit and weed some things out. And here we are. But anyways, um, I'll put her link down below too. She sent me a, um, a, a salsa recipe. And I'm gonna try it out as well. You know, that's the good thing about YouTube. You can uh, send people ideals, and and if they like them, good. If they don't, that's fine. But, you know, at least you're trying to help, you know, doing things, help each other out. I, um, I usually got a lot of things I want to say on my mind, but unless I put them down on the paper, it just don't come to me when I do a video. I don't know how many of y'all other people um, have had that happen to you. It happens to me quite a bit. And then after I do the video, I'm like, dang, I wanted to say that. Dang, I wanted to say that. And I didn't say it. You know, I forgot. I guess I feel like I'm rushed with the camera rolling. I don't like making long videos, and I end up making them anyways. So, this is my garden update. And uh, I'm going to zoom in on this flyer right here and see if I can get me a good thumbnail to put on this video. <laughs> Come on. Really? There we go. That's pretty. I appreciate y'all stopping by and checking in on me. And uh, on Calvin's Corner, see me too. And uh, y'all come back and see me, and uh, maybe I'll have something else to say. <laughs> appreciate y'all. Bye-bye.